parabola basically is this U-shaped graph, right? It can be opening up or down or right or left, right? And the distance from the vertex, which is the point where the parabola bends, and this imaginary line we call the directrix right here, that distance we call P, and P is also the distance from the vertex to the focus, um, and that's the point right there. And basically what a parabola is, it's the set of all points such that any point on this parabola is gonna be the same distance between a given point called the focus and a given line called the directrix. So you can see, as you go further out on this parabola, the distance to the focus is getting longer, so is the distance to the directrix, but those, those distances are gonna be the same. So that's what a parabola is, but as far as you know, the equation, it's either gonna be an x squared variety, like x squared equals 4py, or what I call a y squared variety, which is y squared equals 4px. And if it's the x squared term, if the x is a term that's squared, it opens up or down. Okay, if p is positive, it opens up. Okay, if p is negative, it opens down. And then if it's a y squared variety, it opens right or left. It opens to the right if p is positive, left if p is negative. And then you can see, you can also write it in a more general way right here with the H and the K. The H and the K pick up the graph, shift it left and right, up and down. If any of this seems confusing to you, I'll have links to other videos that I did, you know, talking about some of the more uh, basic and introductory level um, parabolas in, in this type of form here. So, but let's see if we can, can take a look at this uh, example here. So basically they're giving us the vertex is four negative two, the directrix is y equals two. But I wanted to mention before I get into this uh, equation and graphing this parabola, if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT and you wanna boost your score and improve your grade on that uh, important test, check out my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course. I go through teaching and examples and uh, it's got uh, numbers of hours worth of video in there with uh, a lot of opportunities for you to practice. And we focus on specifically problems that you're expected to know on those tests so that you're better prepared, you know what to expect, and you'll know how to approach those problems. So go ahead and take a look at some of the previews. I've got a few free previews for each of those courses to see if it's right for you. But if you're looking to boost your score, definitely check those out. A lot of students have taken them and have reported back that that's really helped them uh, improve their score. And if it's right for you, then uh, I would definitely encourage you to check that out. But let's go through this problem now. So the vertex is four negative two. So you're going right four, down two, Okay, so that's the vertex right there. And the directrix is y equals two. Now remember, y equals lines, those are horizontal lines, right? Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna realize that the distance from the vertex to the directrix is our p value. So you can see here, this is going one, two, three, four. So you can see that from here to here, that's p, p is equal to four. Also, if you go from the vertex to the focus, that distance is four. So one, two, three, four, it's gonna be right down here. There's our focus, right? Okay, that distance is also P. And then at the level of the focus, I didn't mention this in the intro, but the width of the parabola, okay, at the level of the focus, this width right here is always gonna be four P. So in this case, since P is four, it's actually gonna be uh, four times four is 16 wide. So what I would do is from the focus here, I would go right eight and I would go left eight. Okay, so let's see how much is that right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right about uh, over here. So that gives you an idea about how wide, okay, the parabola is at the level of the focus. Okay, but as far as the equation goes, because it's opening down, we know this is gonna be an x squared variety. So it's gonna be x minus, let's see, now the vertex is at four negative two, so it's gonna be x minus four squared equals four times p, four times four is 16, but this is gonna be a negative 16 since it's opening down. If it was opening up, it'd be a positive 16. And then we've got y plus two. Now notice these are the opposite sign. It's x minus the x coordinate of the vertex, y minus the y coordinate of the vertex. And because it's x squared, it's opening down and we have our four times p uh, as our coefficient right here. So I hope that helped you to understand how to write the equation of a parabola when you're given the vertex and the directrix. If you have more questions about you know, how this whole process works, if there was something that was a little bit confusing there, I'll have links to other videos that I did talking about the introduction and, and the more basic level problems. Uh, so you can check out those videos as well. So subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.